Hi, I'm Ricardus and welcome to Improvisation Elements. Welcome to this new video about Improvisation Elements. Today we practice with the Romanesca uh, and as applying on the Romanesca the Aleman style. So, let's recap a little about the Romanesca. Today we do practice with the leaping Romanesca, so we have the bass that leaps. <laughs> Way, there is a video about Romanesca, watch this video before, before practicing with this video if you don't know what is Romanesca. So, the Romanesca has its own uh, harmonization, that is the following. So, what can we do now? It's applying the figuration of an alemanda or a style of alemanda to this bass. For example, this is one of the possibilities. So the bass can be um, with a figuration. So I have to choose a time and respect this time. For example, two times for each note in this way. And then a little cadence. It suddenly has the canon of battle bell in this way. So what I have to do is creating a figuration for the bass, starting from the Romanesca. And then with the cadence that we can flourish as we want. For example, and now Let's apply um, a figuration that is typical from for Alemande. For example, the riff is uh, an acrusic. to have clear in your mind all the this degree for example sing think and sing also the bass the main bass the fundamental bass has used to say remo so for example i play it slowly i use uh, italian or french name so <laughs> harmonies, other chord in, in, in the place of the G. But I also can do, for example, Fa, for example. So the main aspect is that you have clear the time, so the meter, the meter and the harmony, the harmony meter, the harmony, the harmonic rhythm, and then to apply figuration that stays in the harmony and that bring you to the next harmony. So let's do it slowly and let's sing together. Okay, and acrylic, I'm on the third. So when I'm playing this chord, this part, now I'm thinking where I want to go. clear in mind this passage. And now, where is my bass going to? So... So, look, I'm going to A, so it is better to have a third. Remember that in any case, the third is a basic uh, suite element of 
turn on music. So some advice that I can give you is um, you always need a third or a sixth because they are sweet. You can't have a fifth alone in turn on music. So, for example, the next note of our Romanesca is A, so the third is C. And then we have the same pattern. So, the next chord of, uh, of the next note of the bass of our Romanesca is F, so the third is A. for example if I don't have the octave or the fifth alone it is better then as you can see with this, this movement what I'm doing I'm going to reach the third of the next chord play a cadence for example now let's go to the to the um, third and then the double the double cadence there is a video about cadences that I uploaded some month ago so you can watch it and learning a lot about cadences or if I went to have the same note on the bass this is another possibility so this little passage this little ornamentation this rom romanesca with diminution is like an, a real alemanda let's play it another time We don't have the binary and the form with the ritornello, but at this time it is not important for us. This time we, we want to learn how to move the voices. For that I'm creating videos about technical exercises of improvisation. If you want to move, if you want to reach a third, how can you do it? If you play these exercises that you can find on my Patreon, like improvisation elements, scales, diminution, right hand, left hand, you can develop an ability of moving, for example, in, um, in these passages. Now the exercises are in two voices, but when I will finish all the exercises in two voices, I'll pass to three voices, also with the organ, with the pedal. So they are very useful exercises. Now we can transpose this uh, alemanda, this romanesca, with the motion, to other keys. For example, let's play this in um, G major. First, only the Romanesca. And now, let's try to apply this figuration of Alemant. So, I have the third, that is the anachronistic time, as before. And then, let's sing the bass, like fundamental base of Romanesca. So example, if I play in the in Alemanda and on the organ in the church, I can't sing. It's not good. But if I sing when I'm practicing, I have to stay. I have to force my mind to think the harmony. So this was in G major. But let's try it in F major, for example. F. Mm. Can't 
transpose this to other keys. So all the keys I want, for example, B flat major. <laughs> is all. Now I transcribe this passage, this ornamentation, this possible uh, figuration for Alemanda and see you in another video where we will try to make an Alemanda taking a melody from another Alemanda by Johann Sebastian Bach.